Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cool block separation effect. So what we're going to do is stack one clip on top of each other. So I've got the original clip, and I'm going to hold Option on my keyboard and just click and drag it up, and that'll create a copy onto a separate track. So you can also copy, paste, or drag it back in. But once we have the clip stacked on top of itself, here's where we can start creating differences between the top and the bottom clip. So for example, the top clip, I can increase the scale a little bit, and then so it'll be a little bit bigger than the bottom clip. Now we want to create kind of a transition or a separation between these two clips. So I'm going to go to the effects panel and search for one in the video effects folder in the transition video effects folder called block dissolve. So I'm going to click and drag this onto the top clip and you'll see as I increase the transition completeness we have a kind of dissolve that happens and there's so many different cool variations that we can start to get into once we have these two layers stacked and kind of half transitioned. So for example we just have something like this to start um, the default kind of grainy dissolve but if we actually increase the block width and height we can get these big blocky sections that appear like big squares or large stripes if we just have a very large block height and a skinnier block width we can get these stripes that appear throughout the video kind of get like these glitchy stripes whatever you want really and the reason it's able to do this is because we did create that separation with the scale so you can see as i increase the scale that's what happens but if i bring it back to normal we're just transitioning from the same clip to the same clip so nothing happens. So the cool part is any sort of separation or difference that you do between the two will show through those blocks. So not only could I do scale, I could also do something with the color. Like let's say I did an invert effect on this top clip. You'll see that happen as well. I'm actually going to uncheck the soft edges there. I actually want those rough edges. Let's say I did in the Lumetri color panel. Let's just say I desaturated this second clip. Now we have the separation of color happening. And the other thing that we can do that's really cool is, first of all, you can animate all of these with keyframes. If you wanted like different blocks transitioning in and out and appearing like so, you can do the vertical stripes, horizontal stripes, or even like blocks such as this, more random chunk blocks. But another really cool thing we can do to create separation is a separation of time. And we can do this simply by moving the stacked clip forward a few seconds. So now we've separated the time. And even if nothing else was different, the, the saturation, everything was the same, we still have the separation of time happening where one clip starts a little bit after the other and that also gives this cool edge separation of the pixels. So just in this one kind of method of stacking effects and transitioning halfway between them and then creating a difference between the duplicate effects, you can create so many different cool animations, glitches, or just stylic, stylistic effects like so. So keep in mind, I just chose block dissolve because it's pretty cool, but you could do the same idea with any sort of trend video transition really we're just kind of splitting between one and the other like here's what it would be like with a venetian blinds and a slight time distortion and a, a cool like interlacy type of effect so this is a cool method for any stacked or duplicated video clips to create cool separation effects between them if you enjoyed this video check out my playlist for more subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all my new videos Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.